everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in James chapter 2, verse 3, as well as 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Lord God, bless it. Open it up in our hearts and help us to have wisdom and understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, James chapter 2, verse 3. And if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place while you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down at my feet. All right. And so this is talking about showing preference towards people who have money, right? Towards people who who um, are independent or, or wealthy. And um, we have to always remember that um, that is not of God, right? You cannot show preference or, or um, bowing down towards people who have money that is God is not pleased. It says, if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, you know, God, God doesn't want that, right? He wants the opposite of that. He wants you to show the preference to the one who cannot give back. He wants you to show the preference to the one who, who is poor and who is needy and who is, is used to being sat down at people's feet. He wants you to go out of your way and treat them. And so, you know, partiality to rich people it's the same thing as discriminating against Jesus, right? Because Jesus said, if you've done it unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. And if you are walking around and, and blessing the least of these, then you're blessing Jesus, right? All right, let's go ahead and go to the completion of the scripture. First Samuel chapter two, verse five, those who were full have hired themselves out for bread but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. All right. And so it says those who were full have hired themselves out for bread. So those are the people who had bread, who um, were well off, who, who weren't begging for anything. They are now in a position where, they have to ask for bread. They have to be at getting a handout, right? It says, but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. So the ones who were on the bottom somehow were able to get up, were able to rise up, were able to feed themselves, were able to take care of themselves. And it says, the barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. So the barren has born seven. That means the one who has not had children now all of a sudden has born seven children. And it says she who has many children is forlorn. And so it, here in first Samuel chapter two, there's a role reversal occurring, right? There is a role reversal. Those who have been set high being brought low and those who are low and, and low in spirit and humble um, they are about to be lifted up, right? And and that's how we should remember it in our lives. When we're going through stuff, when we see people on the bottom and you, you're wondering why and what's going on with this, just know that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Jesus is going to get the final say in it all. There's going to be a role reversal, right? And we just have to wait on him to do that. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we thank you so much for this word. Bless it and keep it. Keep, keep us, Lord. Keep us, help us to hear your Holy Spirit. If we're showing preference, keep us from doing that. Help us to go out of our way to, to help others and cause others to feel as if they belong in you. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. 
Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God. Lord Jesus, wash me clean. Sit on the throne of my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way when you don't know. Where, well, he's going to show you the way at all times. He's just a great personal guide. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children as peace. Take care.